Hi everyone. Our function f of x equals x cubed is defined over the interval 0, 4. We're going to graph f indicating the area under f from a to b. We're going to approximate the area by partitioning a and b into four um, subintervals and into eight subintervals. In both cases, we're going to use the uh, left endpoint for each subinterval. We're going to express the area as an integral, and in my class, we're also going to evaluate the integral because we've already gone over that. So let's get started. I went ahead and graphed um, uh, x cubed from 0 to 4. So let's go ahead and partition it first to 4 intervals. So basically, you're taking 4 minus 0 divided by 4. That gives you 1. So we're going by 1's here. And we're using the left endpoint. That means we have uh, 5 endpoints here. And we're going to use start with the left because we only need four endpoints. So at zero, there's nowhere to go. But at one, we can go up and graph this way. Then go up and graph over to here. And then go up and then graph this way. So that's the, the area we're taking right in there. And we're starting at f of zero. Now, the way you do this, you're going to approximate the area by um, taking uh, f of 0, because that's where we're starting, times your intervals there. So that's going to be 1. So we have 4. And then we do f of 1 times 1 plus f of 2 times 1 plus f of 3 times 1. That's our four sub-intervals. And when you write this out, you're going to get um, 0 plus 1, because we're just multiplying by 1. So I'm just doing f of 1, f of 2, 2 cubed is 8, and 3 cubed is 27. And this is going to equal 36. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, copy this uh, thing over so we can do our eight intervals. So I'm going to uh, duplicate the page. It looks okay. So it's been duplicated. So you can always go back and look at this, but I have to erase this. I just don't want to draw the graph again if I don't have to. Um, I do have to graph it into eight sub intervals. So we're starting at F of zero. So now we have 1.5, 2.5, and 4.5. So if I take this and erase this a bit, so I'm going to erase as much as I can without messing it up. All right, so there we go with that. There it is. Go back to here and draw this line down. So basically, 0 goes nowhere. This is going to be hard because it's very tight here. So you're starting at, uh, since 0 doesn't go up, you're just going like this. You're going here. And then um, you touch there. And then 2, you're going to go to 2, draw up, go to 3.5, draw up, go to 3. And then draw up, go to 4.5, and draw up. So um, let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then at 4.5, you just kind of go up to there and draw up. So there you go. There's the, the intervals. I'm sorry about the graph, but it's really tight with x cubed in, into the 0 right in here. So these are the... It's a little higher here. We're doing this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, in this case, we have 4 minus 0, but we're dividing by 8. So now this is uh, 1 half is what we're going by. We're going by halves. So this is actually uh, 0.5. 
this is 1.5, this one's 2.5, and 3.5. Sorry about that. And I'll rewrite this one, 3.5. So now we're doing the same thing we did before. We're going to start at f of 0, and we have our area is approximately f of 0, but now you multiply by 1 half plus f of 1 half times 1 half plus f of 1 times 1 half plus f of 3 halves where am I? f of 1 3 halves times 1 half plus f of 2 times 1 half plus f of 5 halves times 1 half, put parentheses here if you want, um, and then we continue, plus f of 3 times 1 half, plus f of 7 halves, that's your 3.5 times 1 half. Now it's a little easier if you just factor out the 1 half. If you factor out a 1 half, this is going to be, factor that out, then you can just evaluate all of these. So I factor out a one half, and that's going to give you zero plus one eighth plus one plus twenty seven eighths plus eight plus one twenty five eighths uh, plus twenty seven. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. 343 eighths um, times, uh, and all of this is times one half. So when you multiply all this through, you're going to get zero. So plus one sixteenth plus one half plus twenty seven sixteenths plus four plus one twenty five sixteenths plus twenty seven halves plus three forty three sixteenths and then when you add all that up you probably use a calculator or get your common denominator is sixteen you're going to get the answer is forty nine all right now let's do the integral so to do the integral we're just going to uh, write this area as an integral, so that means you uh, write the integral sign We're going from 0 to 4. Our integrand is x cubed, put parentheses around it, and then do dx. Now we're going to use our evaluation theorem and find the antiderivative of x cubed. And that's going to be our f, and then we're going to do f of 4 minus f of 0. So, when I um, take the antiderivative of this, it's going to be x to the fourth divided by 4. And we're evaluating this from 0 to 4. So we're doing f of 4, which is 4 to the fourth divided by 4, minus uh, 0, because this is the first part. All right, and 4 to the 4th is going to be 4 to the 4th, it's 256, divided by 4, equals 64. So the actual area under the curve is 64. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.